As I dive into the world of angel numbers and to uncover the five numbers from the universe that you should never ignore. Hi guys, my name is Stacy. Welcome to my channel, Stacy's Ascension Academy. If you like spiritual knowledge and spiritual videos and personal development videos, then this is a place for you. So go ahead and like and subscribe for more. Let's get right into it. Over the last four years, I've helped hundreds of people to understand the signs of the universe and what they're ascending them and the powerful messages. The universe is always communicating with us. And once you learn and recognize and interpret these signs, you can align with your true path and manifest your life desires. Most of the times when I start off with my clients, they're going to say they start seeing angel numbers, they're seeing repeated signs, and that's what's going to lead them to Go further on their spiritual development and journey because at this point, you cannot ignore them. So whether you're just starting your spiritual journey or you're a seasoned veteran at this or just curious about the mysteries of the universe, today we're going to explore five angel numbers that you should never ignore. When we overlook these signs, we risk missing out on valuable opportunities for personal growth, guidance, and transformation. We might struggle to find purpose, feel stuck in a rut, or experience anxiety and uncertainty about our future. By ignoring these messages, we're essentially closing the door to the universe's guidance, leaving us to navigate life's challenges alone, and navigating it alone at times can be very difficult daunting this is why the universe sends us these messages to give us a heads up while we're on our path to kind of if we're going the wrong way to kind of stir in the next direction when to close chapters and various other things that come along our path we might also miss out on synchronicities that could lead us to new connections opportunities or even life-changing events when we dismiss these signs we're telling the universe that we're not ready to listen learn or grow and that's a pretty big risk to take, you know, when you're trying to manifest your dreams and move into your alignment and your highest timeline. Furthermore, ignoring these signs could lead to a sense of disconnection from your intuition and your higher self, making it harder for you to trust your own instincts and make decisions that align with your soul's purpose. We might feel lost, uncertain, or disconnected from our inner wisdom, which can manifest in all areas of our lives from relationships to career choices. So by acknowledging and understanding these signs, we could tap into the universe's wisdom, clearing a path for a more fulfilling life, guys. So let's dive into it. It. The first set of angel numbers that you do not want to ignore is 111. Are you seeing 111 repeated in your life? This is one of those powerful angel numbers you don't want to ignore. It's letting you know that your spiritual only awakening and your manifestations are rapidly happening. Like what you're thinking is what is manifesting quickly. So you might want to be wary of your thoughts. This is something that's very powerful. It's also going to be the number of new beings beginnings fresh starts fresh starts when i started to see this angel number i knew that it was time for me to end out the last chapter that i was on and start anew 111 was a number i saw a lot back in 2020 during that big pandemic i kept seeing 111 and it was a time when my job stopped, it was bartending, they closed down everything, and I did not know what the next direction to take, but I kept seeing 111 everywhere, which is what led me to start looking up the meaning of these numbers and seeing what they meant, because I knew there was a bigger picture here, because I've never noticed this stuff before. When you are spiritually awakening, you will notice this. When you are not, and it is not your timeline to awaken, there would just be numbers for you. They would just go along on your daily Endeavors, because I remember as a child or teenager, we always used to say 11, 11, make a wish, not knowing exactly what that meant at the time. So 111, when you're seeing that, it's going to let you know that you're having a fresh start, new beginnings. If you're in a relationship and you're kind of like, I don't know if I want to be in this relationship and you're seeing 111 on your journey, it is telling you that, hey, there's new beginnings. There is going to be somebody else on the other side of this for you that's more in alignment with you. And this is why you should not ignore this when you are seeing it. This is a very big number for you. Okay. The second number you don't want to ignore is 911. And I know 911, you think of emergency, emergency, but this is a soul calling emergency. This is definitely a number that I saw before I pursued not on the spiritual awakening journey because in the beginning I, like I was saying I was seeing the one one ones but when it 
was time for me to step into a career and become a light worker. 911 is what I saw. So this is the number of the light worker. This is the number that's telling you that you have some kind of job that you're going to find within the spiritual truth seeking and telling community. And we don't know what that is because you are on this journey. And as you keep going for it, you will know what that message is. You can become an astrologer. You could become a life coach. You could become something where you are helping the community and you're bringing light. It is a light worker calling. It's also going to be a number of karmic endings because for every new beginning, you must close out the old. So one of your karmic endings can most certainly be a job or it could certainly be a relationship. But it most likely when you're seeing this is going to be jobs because it's the spiritual light worker calling. So therefore, you must close out your 3d job to align with some kind of spiritual truth seeker and you could write books about this stuff whatever it is but you're being called into that timeline so this is something you definitely do not want to ignore the third number that you don't want to ignore is 888 those triple eights baby <laughs> you're going to see 888 on your path which is all about creativity growth positive energy but most importantly abundant money 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 a big rapid expansion and rapid growth and this happening quickly now if you have been trying to manifest money and you're seeing the eights you might as well just accept the money as already being in your bank account whenever i'm trying to manifest a big kind of wealth gold and i start seeing the eights it does not come right away it comes when you when the universe gives it to you, when it's in alignment. Now, I know you can look at numbers and, and, and the brain, um, they have a scientific term for it where say you say you want to go get a red car, you wanted a new red Honda or Toyota or something like that. You're going to start seeing red cars everywhere. Your mind's going to be focused towards that. When you're seeing these angel numbers and these repeated numbers that come up along your path, you're not focused on these numbers. They're, you're not. They just kind of start making its way into your uh, vision, into your alignment, because it's coming from source, it's coming from God, it's coming from your higher self. And it's being shown to you for you to say, this can't be a coincidence, something is up here, why do I keep seeing this number? So if you're seeing it, that's how you know to, boom, steer course, you look up the meaning, and that message is going to resonate. You don't look for these numbers, these numbers find you. So if that 888 is finding you, then that abundance, that money is coming in. You can almost, I could almost guarantee with me, whenever I start seeing that money is going to come in like a day or two, like it's coming, <laughs> like it's already here. It's almost like the money's already vibrationally here. When I see it, I'm like, okay, in alignment, this is fantastic. This is moving in direction how it's supposed to be. And it's going to be very rewarding. So thank yourself and thank the universe you could even envision the number of the money being in your bank account already because this is what's happening. And also is definitely a number of expansion and growth. So if you've been thinking about expanding your career, expanding your business, expanding even your relationship because it is infinity, infinite, infinite of stuff, then this is going to be the time to do that rapidly, especially within this year, 2024, if you're watching it in real time which is a universal eight year, which is all about abundance, money, power, and authority. Now, the fourth number you're not going to want to ignore is 999. Now, 999 is going to be an indication of big chapters in your life coming or that needs to come to an end in order for a fresh start. So the first number we talked about was 111, it's about new beginnings. So if you're seeing 999 and 111, it's going to be a very big indication that there's things that you need to close out of your life because there's a new beginning that's waiting for you on the other side in your in your other in your other like universe, in the metaverse, that other version of you, that new beginning is there. So that's why you're seeing the nine because it needs you to close out that chapter. It needs you to end that. For example, I've had a client before and she kept seeing 999 and she was in a relationship that she did not exactly love. Now, as she kept seeing this number, she realized that this number was a sign that she couldn't like ignore anymore and that she was on a major verge of a major breakthrough in her relationship. And she took the courage to focus on her personal growth, start practicing self-love, and eventually she closed out that relationship. 
She chose herself. She knew this was a chapter in her life that needed to end rapidly. And those 999s are telling you wrap it up. It could be a job that you need to wrap up or a, even a habit. You can even see this number when you are constantly having limited beliefs and the universe, God is telling you to stop that kind of thought pattern to end that kind of thinking rapidly. As my journey went on, this is a number that I see quite often because when you're rapidly expanding, you're going to see 999 a lot when it's like, boop, end this chapter, time to move to the next one, next one, level up, level up, level up. So it's a big level up number because obviously if you're closing chapters, you're opening new beginnings and you're rapidly leveling up. You should be leveling up, not leveling down. The next number that is a big, big one for you guys is 555 those triple fives, because that is a number of change. It's going to let you know that big change is coming along. And whenever you're manifesting something, it's going to equal change of the old for new. So change of the old for new. Five, five, five is a big number that's letting you know that there's massive changes that's happening for you. Now, for example, if you've been working on your weight, you've been working on your diet, you've been working on putting on and manifesting a new health goal, a new physique, and you're seeing 555, keep going. It's telling your body is changing rapidly. You are changing and you're coming into the person and the new timeline that you're supposed to be on. So keep going. I'm also going to give you guys, that was five numbers. I'm going to give you guys a bonus number because it's a number that can be a bit scary to people when they see it on their journey, but it is a number that does come up. And that number of course, I made it a six. It's six, six, six. Now, if you're coming from the religious community and you see that number, it freaks you out. You think it's the number of the devil, but it is not in numerology. That is not what it equals. This is a number of balance and reflection. So when you see it as telling you there's something out of balance in your life, you may be focusing too much on the material world and neglecting your spiritual world, or you can be focusing too much on your spiritual world and your head's up in the clouds and la 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 land, and you need to ground yourself and get practical and logical in the things that you are doing. Because you cannot manifest just by faith faith and faith alone. God's not going to build your house. You are going to have to go out there and do the work to apply for the loans to get the job, to get the, the, the house. Or if you have the money and you're working towards it and you get a big windfall to buy the house. But if you keep thinking that you're just going to stay in the clouds and fairy dust and affirm, affirm, affirm and drops in your, in your lap, it doesn't work like that. I'm not saying it can because sometimes you, you win the lottery out of nowhere or like, you know, you get an inheritance or something but if you want it in the highest timeline, you're going to have to put in some work. Faith for it works. So if you see that 666 telling you something's out of balance, get into a balance, get into alignment, reflect on some of the recent choices that you, and decisions you've made in your life. And that way you could come back on course in beautiful, harmonious timing. Okay. That is all I have for you guys. Do not forget to like and subscribe for more and leave a comment below. If you're seeing any or all of these numbers, then you know the message that you are supposed to receive at this time okay i'm going to be doing videos like this more often i'm trying to post once a day for the next 20 something 20 days or so but you know if i miss a day like i said it is what it is <laughs> but you can rest assured i would have one the next day so a little goal that i'm putting for myself to take this channel more seriously so if you like spiritual messages like this and some personal development then this is a spot for you stacy's ascension academy okay so go ahead and give me a like and subscribe for more and also if you are thinking or wondering if you're on a spiritual awakening journey i do have an online quiz that is going to help you with that i'm going to leave that in the description below also if you feel like you are in a different stage in your life and you like to manifest more this may be a time for you to enter your villain era and i'm going to leave that video in a description below sometimes we need to set boundaries and we're not quite sure how to and this video is going to help you with that guys see you next time ciao